Hey guys, welcome back to Barry's Corner. It's Emily here, and today I'm going to be doing the Nope Trope book tag. I feel like every single time I say that name, I choke up. I don't even know. But here on BookTube, not a lot of people are doing book tags anymore. And I used to do them all the time. I love doing them. So Zoe's All Booked, that booktuber, I believe she made it. And then Peyton Reads, I found it off of her channel. So there is six questions and yeah, I'm going to be answering them. Question number one is eavesdropping with miscommunication. Name a book that you heard great things about and expected to love but hated. And I actually do not have this book. I am very, very glad that I got it from the library. But this is All the Bright Places. And this dealt with depression and suicide and a lot of things. Loss in a family, uh, I, I believe bipolar disorder, even though they never like directly said it was bipolar disorder, it was definitely bipolar disorder. Um, I heard so many great things about this book about how it helped them with their mental issues and just seeing themselves in a book literally made them cry. And I'm not gonna lie, this book did make me cry. I gave it a three stars because it made me cry. It made me feel emotions. However, I feel like how she dealt with mental health problems in this book was so unhealthy and really bad to show readers. Like, yes, there is a darker side to depression and anxiety and mental health and I understand that but there's a way to show that and not be unhealthy if that makes sense and I just felt like it, it was like on the line and it was it just went too far with everything like there were moments where she he'd be calling her and if she did not answer he was like literally lining up pills and was like okay if she doesn't answer I'm taking them and the, oh my gosh it really broke my brain it that made me feel so sad and honestly there are people like that but what I really like about other books is that, hey, they show like the bad side of things, but then also show how they can make it better. And they didn't really show any ways to cope with it. Even if they were given ways to cope and they didn't use it, if you want to go down a deeper depressing path, she didn't do that at all. And it kind of, I don't know, it felt very harmful. So hated that book. <laughs> Question number two is love triangles. Name a series where you cannot pick your favorite book. And my favorite series is the Shatter Me series by Tahira Mafi. I love that series to no end. And I was gonna pick it for this challenge. However, I do know which one's my favorite book in the series. It's definitely Ignite Me. That, guys, if you don't like Ignite Me, I, I, I don't even know, but I love Ignite Me. So I was like, okay, that doesn't fit the challenge. However, you know what does fit the challenge? Twilight. I had not read Twilight before and I loved the movies. I literally watched the movies 24 seven. It's a guilty pleasure watch. And so the past couple months I've decided to read the books and I don't want you guys to think that, oh, I can't pick it because every single book I loved. No, I cannot pick a favorite book because every single book is mediocre. <laughs> every single book is on an even playing field. Like it's a mix of three and a 3.5 stars. I would say that Twilight is my least favorite because of the writing. But it's just also so nostalgic for me that I know I'm going to reread this and I don't want to say it's my least favorite. I don't know, but I genuinely have zero clue which one is my favorite just because it's so mediocre. <laughs> and that's mean. I love Twilight. I love Twilight so much, but it, it really is just on an evil... E Why do I keep saying evil even playing field? Question number three was not like other girls. Name a book that has a pretty cover but was really boring. So I picked Again But Better by Christine Riccio. I love this cover. It is kind of messed up over here but I am in love with this cover and I had to DNF it within the first couple chapters. I don't know if it was the writing, if the character was just annoying to me. So I guess it wasn't that it was boring but I just could not get into it and I really do. I do want to get into it really soon but I just I I can't I, li I literally I could not get into it I want to try again sometime in the future but I don't know if it was too boring if it was a writing if it was the characters or maybe it was just not the right time I'm not sure that's why I kind of want to give it another chance but 
I feel really bad, especially since it was a booktuber that wrote this, but other than that, I, I can't really say anything else. I really didn't like it. Question number four is an all-consuming love. Name a book that gave you a bookish hangover, and for this, I'm picking Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I am the last person on booktube who has never read a book by Rainbow Rowell, like either Fangirl or Carry On or her new graphic novel, Pumpkinheads. I, I just hadn't ever read, and this has been on my TBR for years, but I guess it was the hype surrounding it that I was so scared that I wouldn't like it. So during the reading rush, I was like, okay, we are definitely, definitely reading this book. And once I finished reading it, I was an emotional wreck. I was like, oh, you know, like we have to just sit down and just breathe and just like live in your thoughts. I was like, oh my gosh, like what am I doing? And I did not read for the rest of the day, I believe. And that was kind of upset. <laughs> that was bad because it was, it was during the reading rush. But oh my gosh, this book was awesome. Just the characters, like how much I related to Kath and her relationship with Levi or Reagan or her sister and her family. Oh my gosh, it was like just like my family. So I was like mind blown and it was just a lot for me to take in. So I definitely had a big bookish hangover after this one. Question number five is douchebag boyfriend. Name a book that took you a little bit longer to get into, but you ended up enjoying. And the first book that I thought of was Serpent and Dove by Shelby McCurin. I liked this book. I hated the first half though. It's a pretty thick, it's a decent book. Um, but the first half I really hated. I hated the main character. I hated the writing, the Frenchish writing style. I hated it. I don't know what it was about, but I was like, I'm already halfway through the book. I'm not just going to DNF it halfway through. Like, that's too much. And I was doing a 24-hour readathon at the time, so I was like, we have to read this quickly. So the second half, I actually really enjoyed. The writing style got better. I started to like the main character, and everything went really well. I ended up liking it. It was okay. It wasn't the best fantasy book I've ever read. I ended up giving it a three star. But um, yeah, I that's basically the challenge. I didn't, it was hard to get into, but then I ended up enjoying it. Now the last question, question number six, is to name your favorite and least favorite tropes. I'm going to start off with my least favorite tropes because negativity, let's just get it out of the way. My least favorite trope is insta-love. I hate insta-love. There are books, um, I read one by Morgan Matson where she was on a road trip and I didn't understand fully how she fell in love with this guy over a couple of days, but then I went on a road trip for like two days and I got really close to the people I went with. So I understood that and I enjoyed that sort of type of insta love. But then there was insta love, like the sun is also a star where I just could not get like get on board with it. It was just too much. I, I don't know. I gave, the sun is also a star at three out of five stars so it wasn't like i hated it but i just didn't fully enjoy it but that's that's pretty much it i feel like smaller books are just so much harder to get everything done like the plot the character development and then like a whole romance like i don't understand why you're fit, trying to fit that in with a book under 250 pages like i don't understand that but whatever to each their own if you like insta love then good for you my favorite trope now is enemies to lovers of course if shatter me is not the book like that really represents that i do not know what else <laughs> is um and then i also really love really 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 love like childhood best friends or like best friend's brother you know or my brother's best friend or like you know stuff like that just like stuff that you've known them for a long time and then once you get older you're like whoa like I really like this guy and I love that trope so much so yeah those are the the questions for nope trope book tag I always have to say that so slow because I literally cannot get that title down but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you subscribe like comment do whatever you want to do love you guys so so much bye